Margaret and today I'm bringing you a Wizarding World Loot Crate unboxing. I'm so excited. I love getting these. I have gotten another one that I didn't unbox, but I definitely want to start unboxing them for you. So, this one does say it is muggle worthy. Right there. Muggle worthy. Unfortunately, that's me. <laughs> Alright, opening it up. So I, I've always been a big fan of Harry Potter. Before the movies came out, I would read them in my class when I taught third and fourth grade. Um, I just love them. And I have somewhere, before before the movies came out, there are so many characters in the books that I would I illustrated them and I had the wall next to, we had like a reading center. When I would read the stories, I had the characters there so that the kids could refer to them like, who's that again, who's that again? Um, so they could look at the uh, wall with the illustrations. I'll have to see if I can dig those up. I don't think I would have thrown them away. Anyway, so first thing in this Harry Potter loot crate, the last one came with a shirt as well, which I loved. This shirt has got Snape on it. Oh, and I forgot to mention the theme of this crate is Time, I think, time, okay. So this one has got Snape, and then the quote, after all this time, always, which I think is one of the sweetest love stories, even though he's a bit misguided in his love. Um, he, he, yeah, he's a romantic at heart and stays in love with Lily Potter, spoiler, sorry, forever, and you know, risks his life, even after she's dead, uh, to save her son. So anyway, I don't think I'll wear this shirt. I don't. Um, so this one will probably go up on eBay. Anyway, I, I, the, the last shirt I liked, it was the um, the New York, oh, what's the name of it? The newspaper in New York from when Newt Scamander goes over in Fantastic Beasts. That one I've worn because it's a bit, I don't know, I just don't want a big face on me, right? Okay. So this is the scroll that came with it. And this just tells about everything. Wizarding World, a matter of time. So all of the items in the crate have to do with time, which is awesome. And I didn't show you. On this part of the crate, there's the time turner. The time turner. And if you've seen, um, when, I'm, when I'm in my workroom, Groucho, who sits at, uh, behind my shoulder here, he has my time turner that Randy got me one year. Um, so yeah, he wears that. So then next up, there is a pop figure, Harry Potter pop figure, and it is Ron, and he is looking very dashing. Let's see, we can focus that on, oh yeah. He's looking very, very dashing in his dress robes, which if you have seen the Goblet of Fire, he is mortified, mortified to wear, because uh, it looks like something his Aunt Mildred would wear, is what he said, right? One of Aunt Mildred's robes. But he wears it. Anyway, because he's a good sport. So that's that. Um, I have a Newt Scamander pop from the other one, so I guess Ron and Newt can hang out together for sure. Okay, then next in the crate, we have Harry Potter's Prophecy Pin. All right, just letting you know now, I'm gonna give you some spoilers. The Prophecy Pin, wasn't a pin in the show, but um, there's a prophecy that was made by Professor Trelawney, one of the two that Dumbledore knows of that she actually made. So Professor Trelawney, before, I think it was before Harry was born, uh, made a prediction about who would be the downfall of the Dark Lord. And so yeah, Voldemort becomes obsessed with finding out what the actual wording of the prophecy is. And um, all the prophecies are held at the Ministry of Magic in the... Hall of Mysteries or something like that. So um, there's a big battle scene where all of these prophecies in the movie like I'm smashing down whatever uh, because the kids are trying to get to the prophecy before Voldemort because Harry wants to hear it too to make sure he knows the exact wording of it because there's questions about if Harry is really the one, the chosen one, right? So this pin is showing the crystal ball that holds the prophecy and there we go. So, prophecy pin. Um, so next up we have a lovely pair of socks which have got multiple things going on. So the top part, it's in Gryffindor-ish colors. Gold and maroons. So we've got this tapestry look. Then in, in the center part, there's Hogwarts Express, nine and three quarters, and then it's striped. So these are lovely, large, warm looking socks. What size are they? Will they fit me? 
men's size 8 to 12. So Randy might get to wear these. Or not. I may just wear them around the house. <laughs> Alright, so next up, this is something I'm super excited about that was in the crate. It is a pocket watch. So here we have a pocket watch that came with the crate. It doesn't have like a watch fob, it has just a necklace chain. But on the front of it you can see it's got the symbol for the Deathly Hallows, which I happen to have a sticker of my car of the Deathly Hallows. So here we have the Deathly Hallows on this pocket watch and when you open it, Again, the Deathly Hallows, and it is a working pocket watch, which is so awesome. If you are not familiar with what the Deathly Hallows are, um, it stands for three objects that are possibly mythological, not mythological, but like from a fairy story. Um, so they represent, okay, so here's the deal. J.K. Rowling has got an amazing um, creative mind, and she not only, I mean the whole world that she came up with, she didn't just come up with characters in a story. There was there are amazing backstories on everybody and even down to the fairy tales that the kids would read and listen to as children. So there's a book called um Beetle the Bard. Wait no, Beetle the Bard wrote it and it's um Tales of Beetle the Bard, that's what it is. So it's sort of like Grimm's fairy tales, um, but for, for the wizarding world. And one of the stories in there, I am getting somewhere, <laughs> one of the stories in there is about the Deathly Hallows. It's not called that, it's called the Tale of the Three Brothers. Now, the three brothers, I'm gonna give you a bit of a spoiler, because if you don't know what Harry Potter is, you don't know what this symbol stands for, it might just look like a triangle and whatever, weird. So basically, the three brothers managed to trick death. Death is a real person. And they manage to trick death out of their deaths. And so death offers them three objects they can choose. And one brother chooses an invisibility cloak, which is the triangle. One brother um, chooses a, an unbeatable wand, which is the middle part. And then the third brother chooses a, a stone that can resurrect the dead. So those are the Deathly Hallows and Voldemort becomes obsessed with finding them and Harry's trying to find out about them and everyone keeps telling him these aren't real and Voldemort is delusional and they're not real. They are from a fairy tale. Um, but as you might guess, they turn out to be real. So that is the, the meaning behind this symbol of the Deathly Hallows. And there are people in the, in the story that you know, are very believing in them and some that are not and just think they're like crazy people, conspiracy people, you know, that read the National Enquirer, you know, type people that would not read them, but like believe some of the crazy stuff. Um, so anyway, they're seen as a bit uh, eccentric if you really believe in the Deathly Hallows. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That is a cool object right there. And then, is that the last thing? Let me see. Okay, and then lastly, we have a necklace. And it is, does it move? I don't know if it moves. And it is a Time Turner necklace. It's super cute, super cute, super cute. Um, does it move? Uh, no, it doesn't move. All right, so this is a little symbolic Time Turner necklace, which, I don't know, I might keep it. I have the other Time Turner that Randy got me, and it's on, you know, Groucho. So maybe, maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't. I don't know if I'd wear it, maybe I'd wear it. Put it on a different chain. It's cute. Okay, so that is the third item. So overall, I am very pleased with my Harry Potter loot crate this month. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter, my favorite thing from the crate by far is the pocket watch. Yeah, it is the pocket watch. I, I just love, you know, all the stories behind the objects, the prophecy and the time turner and the Deathly Hallows and it's just like this whole, I don't know. You know at, I love the story behind everything. I love how thoughtful it all is. And um, yeah, it's just uh, an escape into a whole nother world. So anyway, that is my latest Harry Potter or Wizarding World of Harry Potter loot crate that came in. I love it. And I can't wait for the next one. And that's, I think, it. So thanks so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button and let me know that you enjoyed the unboxing of the Harry Potter Loot Crate. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. It's not focusing. Oh, let's wait. Hello. Magic. There we go. Okay. Um...